Good morning church family and welcome to our Sabbath school this morning. I'd like to start by asking you a question. Before March 2020, did you ever hear of the word Zoom? Well, I'm sure you did, but not in the context of, what, of how we know Zoom today. Zoom or MS Teams have become household words, structures that we really don't and can't do without. Well, our topic for this a morning Sabbath school, the world and the worldwide church is family togetherness. And I would like to focus on the church family togetherness. Now Paul does encourage all of us to assemble together so that we can praise God together, share his word, share experiences. And so that is what I want to look at very briefly. We do want to thank God for this wonderful technology so that we as church families can be together. We really have tried many times to get our church family together, to open Sabbath together, to close Sabbath together. And at our church building, we have not always been successful. But on Zoom, we have very wonderful experiences in which the church family gets together to praise God at the, at the opening and the closing of the, of the Sabbath. We also know that the women are having wonderful times praying together, studying God's word together, sharing and asking the Holy Spirit to be with families together. We praise God for that. And there are other groups that I may not know of where there's such family togetherness that we are enjoy enjoying as a church family. We also want to thank God for our youth gathering that we have on the Sabbath morning to praise God by studying our lesson. So I also would like to encourage other groups who are may not be meeting, who um, can share this togetherness and praise God together. We think of our children, of our teens, and other um, members of our congregation. Let's do what Paul says and let's gather together as a family to praise God. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this beautiful Sabbath morning. After the coldness that we've experienced this past week, you have really taken care of us. The sunshine reminds us of your great love and also the sun of righteousness that is always present and welcome in our hearts. And this morning as we worship you as families and particularly as we celebrate family togetherness, would you bless us? Because this is the place where we prepare for family togetherness in heaven for time and eternity. Bless our gathering and bless our worship this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, at this point in time, uh, we will hear to different presentations by different family members that will share their togetherness. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Just finished my workout. As you can see, my face is all sweaty. Just want to talk about uh, what this family does as a family. We actually work out really nicely. Every time, every morning, we have beautiful family workout session, and that's what I enjoy the most. So, yeah, we're vlogging now, and this Hi, is my this sister is what's Candy. Up, what's up? Uh, so Kenny, what do you enjoy mostly about family time? You know, what do you enjoy the most? What do I enjoy the most? Mm. Oh wow! I guess it's just being together. You know, mm -hmm. it's just we like doing the, the same thing together. You know, I mean, like we're super close as a family, mm -hmm. and you know, just sharing this intimacy is kind of cool. It's you nice, know? exactly. Yeah, we enjoy the togetherness. Okay. That's Candy's take. Okay, mom, what do you? Yo, where am I flopping? <laughs> What do you enjoy about family time? What do you enjoy? Talk to us, um, moms. Uh, I enjoy our our worship times mm. every day in the evenings when we gather. We first, have, you know, I like the way we chat a lot before we start the prayer. Yes. Then we pray, but mostly, especially the Sabbath when we have the uh, divine service. Mm, that's and nice. yeah, that's 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 what you enjoy. Awesome. Yeah. Beautiful. Now we have the youngest uh, and brightest of them all. <laughs> hi, y'alls. You have to say hi to the camera. Hi. Hi. So, y'alls, what do you enjoy, you know, about, uh, you know, the whole family teams? 
having movie nights. Oh. You enjoy my movie nights. Oh, yes. That's yes. Nice, right? Yeah, because we watch movies and we chill, we eat popcorn, we mm-hmm. eat food. Yes, yeah. every Sunday night she so always picks time. up the movie and we watch movies. Mainly on birthdays, yeah. <laughs> and he's is coming up, so we're uh, going to do that soon. Yay! You know? Well, there you have it. That's the baby family. We out. Good morning. The Brabant family, um, from the very beginning of lockdown, we have decided to be praying together during noon time. We normally do worship together mornings and evenings, but we decided to be doing it uh, also at noon time since everyone is at home. And so we are doing that until present we set an alarm clock 12 o'clock and then everyone has to come outside here and we pray together but now when the children started school we do it at inside the house sometimes in the room or sometimes in the living room but yes we are doing that together and one thing we do together also is we start singing the the as a hymnal from the very beginning we try to learn new songs and we will be finishing the hymnal maybe in few months time but yes we are challenged especially our note reading in the music we are challenged but it is interesting to learn new songs maybe you should do that as well and sometimes when Liana knows the pieces then she plays the piano but if we don't know the song then we learn it all together and it's I tell you it's fun and we also yeah during the first um, few months of lockdown it was more uh, relaxing fun more family bonding but when the children started school it becomes so hectic for us but we praise God we are still we are strong and healthy no no symptoms of any COVID thing but yes we are healthy and the tradition that we started praying during noontime did not did not um, disrupt us for our very hectic um, days but yeah we praise God for everything that he had done for us and yes we do play games and we'll show you some pictures later thank you very strong are you strong Oh, okay. Thank you, my boy. Jungle is also strong with mashed and potatoes. Oh! Verse 23. Verse 23. Anyone who loves me, Anyone who loves me will, obey my teaching. will obey my teaching. Anyone who loves me Will obey, my teaching. will obey my teaching. John 14, John 14 verse, 23. verse 23. Balaam and the talking donkey. Balaam and the talking donkey. Oh, yeah. Ah, the is donkey. It magic? Let's hear if it was magic. Hmm. Let's hear the story. It's found in the book of Numbers 22 to 24. And says, have you ever seen a dog do tricks? Some dogs can roll over and sit up, you know. In our story, a man heard a donkey talk. Really talk. Let's find out. How did that happen? I mean, I mean, did God make it talk? Maybe. Let's find out what the donkey said. Good morning, everybody. My Bible verse for this morning is taken from Hebrews 10.25. Not neglecting to meet together, as in the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Against the sad backdrop of the coronavirus, 
and life in lockdown, my wonderful family and I will not let go of this powerful verse. Since the start of lockdown, we have lovingly celebrated eight birthdays, three special family days, and we faithfully come together every Sabbath to rejoice in the word and love of our Heavenly Father. As most of you may know, my youngest daughter, Roseanne, lives in Doha, and our larger family resides in KwaZulu-Natal. We are so thankful that Roseanne came home at the end of May. To make sure we still had the opportunity to celebrate, worship and support each other, we set up formal virtual invites to be together during support meetings and celebrations. It was with a heavy heart that during the lockdown, we laid our beloved dad, granddad to rest. But even though through the many national wide funeral restrictions, the Lord allowed all our family members the opportunity to bid him farewell through virtual attendance. In our perseverance to continue into God's word, my family were not willing to allow this lockdown to prevent us from prayer meeting and Sabbath get together. My brother ran these meetings via Zoom from the very start of lockdown. It has been so encouraging to see all our church family to meet through Zoom and pray for each other. As a family of God, we have been truly blessed to be able to continue our celebrations, worship and praise together through these trying times. Amen. Welcome to the Kumalos. <sighs> Hi, Pretoria Eastern Suburbs Church. Uh, welcome to the Kumalos. Uh, my name is Busi Kumalo. Here is our daughter, Sita in the middle, Sita Kumalo, and then my wife, Ibodia Kumalo. We are here to give you just a glimpse of what we've experienced during this pandemic. It was not easy. Um, from my perspective, as a traveler, um, it has given me an opportunity to spend time with my family, to reflect on what has been happening in the past 10 years as I was crisscrossing the world, visiting different places, but now I was confined to this space here at home. And I must say, I've learned to appreciate uh, my family more. I've learned to do things that I couldn't do previously because of traveling and uh, attending to God's work and, uh, and many other things. And uh, one thing that I've appreciated with uh, this uh, period that we are in is that uh, see here our son, uh, who is now working for the Northern Conference, um, you know, left his uh, home in Centurion and came to stay with us here in Hammond's Club. I mean, we had an awesome, awesome time with him. Um, uh, we spent, I think, how long was it? Yeah. About five weeks with Sihe, and it was just wonderful. And uh, we chilled together, we sang together, we joked together, we prayed together. And it has been a, an awesome bonding time. Uh, with uh, with my family and so I will hand over to uh, Sidi. What I have learned during this lockdown as a student we had to adapt to a new learning style which was the online learning which was quite difficult at first but we have gotten the hang of it now. Another thing I've learned to do during this lockdown is to appreciate uh, the love and support that I get from my family and I've also learned that we cannot live in isolation. Another thing I have also learned during this lockdown is to take care of my mental health and my physical health better. Thank you. Now we'll hand over to Ivodia, uh, the queen of the house. Uh, by the way, she's the one who kept the home fires burning whenever I would travel. But now I was with her. I'm sure she was the most elated of all people. <laughs> Yes, he's got it right there. It was really great to have him around, to have him home because I'm used to him being away. So it was a good opportunity for us to be together as a family. And as he mentioned that Sihe was around. So as a mother, a wife, the queen of the house, I had to make sure that we have a schedule 
So we each had our turns for washing dishes, for cooking, and I must tell you, it was uh, good to taste Siha's food. Wow, wow. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and also for me, it was a good break from commuting to the office. No traffic, no traffic jams, no accidents on the road, no... Good morning. So this morning, the Smuts family would like to share uh, what we have been doing uh, during this lockdown and how it has helped us with family togetherness. So I think for us, it has been a great blessing as a family. And also spiritually, we have been able to um, come closer together as a family. So basically what we do is, uh, or what we did, and especially before Jasmine went to school, uh, we had breakfast every morning together as a family and then during that time we would also do our family worship and share a verse um, out of Proverbs that we would then discuss as a family. Um, then at Susu on Friday evenings would print out our family lessons for us that um, uh, our, I mean, our Sabbath school lessons for us that me and Jasmine will prepare for on Saturday, then Jasmine would um do her lesson and would do an activity, and I'll do my lesson and choose some songs out of the hymnal. For me, the one of the big impacts of lockdown on our family is uh, was that Jonathan, our son, could not return from South Korea at the end of. April or early in May, as was uh, planned originally, because his flight was cancelled. So he could then extend his contract in South Korea at the Language Institute for four months. And so, now, but now we're looking forward to him being home maybe next week. Um, at the time, we were quite happy for him to stay in South Korea because it seemed that they were dealing with a with a COVID nineteen pandemic better than we were would be able to here in South Africa but now we're happy to have him back. The other benefit was that our son Cameron could join us on Sabbath mornings and we could uh, also do our worship the girls presentations of their lessons together and also we went through the book of Daniel uh, chapter by chapter one chapter per Sabbath and then after that we did some other things and tomorrow we are going to spend the divine service time going through reviewing uh, chapter 15 of Proverbs because we now finished with chapter 15 of Proverbs, one verse a day. God bless everybody, a happy Sabbath, and we'll talk again as soon as possible. Hello friends, today we will be talking about a very special topic, the family. And I'm delighted that my beautiful wife, Nancy, can join me. It hardly seems possible, but on September 14, this year, Nancy and I will be celebrating 45 years together. And we thank the Lord for every precious day that he has given to us. Yes, but I must say those years have gone by very quickly. And during that time, God blessed us with three wonderful daughters, and later on, three very dear sons-in-law. Together, they have blessed us with 11 precious grandchildren. We are so grateful to the Lord and consider family to be one of the most important gifts God has given to human beings. You know, it all began in the Garden of Eden when God declared, it is not good that man should be alone. Shaping Eve from a rib taken from Adam's side, God presented her to Adam, who declared in delight, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. And in the first ever marriage ceremony, God blessed the happy couple, encouraging them to be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Of course, we know that things did not remain happy as sin was allowed to enter into that first family and affect the entire human race. Nevertheless, God had a rescue plan. He cares about individuals and He cares about families. The hope of a coming Savior gave hope and courage to our first parents. 
and it continues to give hope and courage to us today. Even though we live in a fallen world and we experience the many challenges that that brings, God designed the family to be a shining light for Him. Now we read in that beautiful book, The Adventist Home, I hope you're familiar with it, page 15, society is composed of families and is what the heads of families make it. Out of the heart are the issues of life and the heart of the community, of the church, and of the nation is the household. The well-being of society, the success of the church, the prosperity of the nation depend upon home influences. Home should be made all that the word implies. We read further in Adventist home, it should be a little heaven upon earth, a place where the affections are cultivated. Our happiness depends upon this cultivation of love, sympathy, and true courtesy to one another. The sweetest type of heaven is a home where the Spirit of the Lord presides. Of course, you cannot have the home God wants you to have without having Him as the main component. Now, one of the best ways as a family to do that is by taking time, morning and evening, to have family worship. Family worship is a great time to involve children. I know our daughters just enjoyed it when they were in our home. Make it interesting, enjoyable, and not too long. Sing together, read together, pray together. God can help bring peace and joy into the home, and He can help everyone to work together. When I think of families and how it can become very complicated, as we are pulled in so many different directions, I realize how essential it is that children feel that they are a part of the family unit that they aren't just passive members being cared for and pampered. Involve them in age-related home tasks, helping to keep things clean and running smoothly. And you know, when you ask a child, when they're very small, they may not do it, they won't do it like you do, but they need the experience of putting their toys together, of trying to make their bed, of doing age-appropriate activities, Involve them in family discussions. If kids learn early to have responsibilities, they will have a sense of ownership in the family, knowing that they are an important part of the family. Now, while God designed the family unit, He also created the larger family, the family of God, where we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. The Seventh-day Adventist Church is a wonderful worldwide family of more than 21 million members around this entire globe. One of the joys Nancy and I experienced as we traveled to various places, uh, of course before the coronavirus pandemic, was to experience the joy of this worldwide family of Christ firsthand. In fact, we can do that now through various electronic outreach activities as well, to be able to sing and worship together, to see how the worldwide church family was ministering to those around them and sharing the good news of Christ's soon return, and they still are in their own ways now. It was a thrilling thing to see. And now, even during these challenging times, the worldwide Adventist church family is coming together in new and exciting ways, encouraging one another, and reaching out to a world desperate for hope. And now, more than ever, it's so important to be a home missionary. Ellen White tells us, not all can go as missionaries to foreign lands, but all can be home missionaries in their families and neighborhoods. There are many ways in which church members may give the message of, to those around them one of the most successful is by living helpful, unselfish Christian lives. This is a wonderful way in which we can all, as members of God's family, come together in service 
for him, total member involvement. In fact, this coming week is Family Togetherness Week. Organized by the Family Ministries Department of the General Conference, this is a special opportunity to spotlight the family, both individually and as a church. Resource materials are available at the link shown at the bottom of the screen. May the Lord bless and encourage you just now, knowing that you are a part of His family that you are his son, his daughter, and that we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, we thank you for creating the family unit, creating an opportunity that we together can not only enjoy each other, but that we can give a wonderful testimony to so many around the world that when Jesus is central in our lives and our homes, that you can make our families one of the most powerful testimonies on the face of the planet. Thank you for hearing us and Lord bless in a special way this family togetherness weekend and focus. And may every day be a family focus on togetherness all through your power until we see you coming in the clouds of heaven and we will be home forever in God's precious family. In Christ's name we ask it. Amen. Amen.